All right, quick update on Strong. So uh, when we made our video for Strong yesterday, we highlighted how we've fallen out of this micro bearish flag. And obviously, you know, we've been covering this for the past couple of weeks and outlining how we are in a big, very big uh, bearish pennant right now of a target all the way down here at 77 to $70. Um, yesterday, we were literally kind of teetering on falling below this 180 line. I think when we recorded, we were literally around here somewhere. So. We, we were literally kind of just underneath this line getting ready for a fall when I said, you know, I think we're going to be coming back down to the 1.618 or 162. Now, this isn't the first time I've mentioned this target. I mentioned this target all the way when I started making videos up here at 270. And I said, I think we're coming down to 160 if we do break out of this bearish pennant. And obviously, because, you know, the, the market structure is extremely bearish, at least in the macro term. Uh, we've fallen through every fib. Uh, we, we're below both of these 786s. This one uh, doesn't even go to um, anywhere on this chart. So I've, I've found the actual, like, the lowest it ever went on CoinGecko, which was 1650. So I'm even giving it the benefit of the doubt. If I drew it from here, it would be higher up. But, you know, I've, I've drawn it to where, where the low was and we're below both 786s. We're below the 200 day. You know, we've, we were in this uh, descending triangle, um, which, you know, these normally do break out to the upside, or at least they do have a higher likelihood of breaking to the upside. Uh, descending wedges, descending channels, they, you know, they normally do break break up you know at least on average so uh, if we do come down you can see we are literally sitting on the last line in the sand right now at 160 now there's not really much to say so i'm going to make this fairly quick we're below all 786s there's no fibs there's no price targets i can give you whatsoever apart from what's going on with this macro fib so you know we predicted that we were going to at least have a bounce down here on the 1.618 from this micro fib we can see this micro fib is very valid you know we basically touched it exactly went back up and now we're coming down you can see this is where we're getting stuck again so uh, all in all, I can tell that, you know, uh, Strong does respect these fibs. Obviously, these fibs are just characterizing, you know, the, the movement to the upside or the downside. And, you know, when momentum does pick to the downside, it does seem like, you know, we are getting ready to fill these targets. Now, uh, I highlighted this in, you know, a bunch of videos. But if we do take, you know, a basic best line of fit, you can see the volume is generally increasing and most of the volume is red. So very bearish the rsi just got rejected from the 30 again and the money flow indicator had one of the smallest dead cat bounces one of the most sad dead cat bounces i've ever seen in my life so all in all uh, i still am pretty bearish on strong uh, i i've outlined you know two scenarios that are likely i don't think we're going to do anything else i think we're either going to bounce from here and come up to here which is my least likely scenario i don't think this is going to happen if we come over to bitcoin you can see bitcoin is starting to you know i mean well it, we could still go up we could still do something like this and have an inverse head and shoulders but you know if we take another day or two then you know this is completely invalidated so all in all if we don't go up in the next two days and buy up i mean we need to have a rocket ship ship up then this is basically invalidated. We could still be setting up maybe like a W pattern for Bitcoin, but you know, like I said, we, we can't go below this 37,000. If we do, then Bitcoin's gonna fall off the table, altcoins are gonna fall off the table. And you know, in my opinion, the altcoins that are gonna get hit hardest are these, um, you know, these nodes. Uh, they are very risky investments in my opinion. And you know, if I do just like look at all of the coins, all the tokens that are down, uh, there is only one, let's see, one, yeah, I mean, there, there's literally only one, um, one, one coin that's down, and that's Zen, more than strong, so I do think this is very bearish, what on earth is this, oh, this is the Bitcoin shorts, I was wondering why this is up 229%, so, uh, just quickly on the Bitcoin shorts, obviously this will affect strong, which is why I'm talking about it. I have highlighted previously, whenever we do break above this box, you know, Bitcoin is screwed at least for a week, at least for a couple of days. You know, normally like the the least amount of time it takes is three days. So if this does keep on going up, uh, if for example, if we do close a candle above here by today and start pushing up tomorrow, I think Bitcoin is going to fall through the table and, you know, all of these altcoins, especially the very, very risky altcoins like Strong, they're going to fall off the table. Now, like I said, uh, all 
all indications really point to this move down here to 77 to 70 now I'll do the conservative target and then if we bounce from it I mean it really doesn't make a difference if we go down 52 or 57 percent in my opinion we are looking for this kind of drop that will get us slashed in half so uh, in my opinion the second we close a daily candle if we close a daily candle below 160 you know expect us to come down 50 percent that's really all i've got for you for strong i don't want to drag this video out or you know talk talk about anything else this is really my number one target so keep an eye on 160 uh if we do close at 160 or below 160 in my opinion we're going to get chopped in half in the next couple of weeks so that is all i see for strong if you do hold it best of luck once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you peace